So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, uh, you fill up, fill, up, fill up with water, and that's what you do. Fill up, fill up with water and add a little bit of uh, 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 vegetable oil. So I'll pause it and I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Here's my rice. Oh, 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 water. Water don't mix with computers. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know. Um, but yeah, here's here's here's, here's uh, 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 my rice. And all you have to do, I prefer uh, I prefer uh, crystal vegetable oil. But if you have this Western oil, that will just do. It just gives it a little more woody flavor. And all you have to do is just one ounce. That's all. You, that's all you need. One ounce, or maybe one more. There we go. You don't, you don't want to put the olive oil because you, you will have the olive oil in your zucchini and your, uh, your stew tomatoes. And uh, here you go. This is on. Place on the lid. And next, chopping up a uh, zucchini. That's next. Okay, I'll show you how, how you cook, uh, uh, cut zucchini. What you do is cut it like this. You cut the other half like this. And all you have to do with these halves, go like this, rub it, rub it, rub it. It takes the bitter, bitter away. Rub this in right here, all that. It takes the bitter away. And same thing, same thing with, uh, just, just, just remember it's, it's all, already washed, already washed, I washed them. And um, this way, what, what you do, it's the same thing with, the, with squash, it does the same thing. You cut it, you cut it. And you get this, rub the, this in right here, rub this in right here, and rub right here. Therefore, it won't be as bitter. And uh, as, uh, as I can cut up my zucchini and my squash and fry them, uh, I'll tell you what, what next station to do next. Hi, uh, let me show you. Uh, if you have a uh, you come this, this, one is, this is how you cut it in thin slices, but when it's this big, for your pan, just cut them in, in half. That's what you have to do. Same thing with the, the zucchini and squash. And all you have to do is add just salt. Don't need no seasoning whatsoever. Salt and and, and, and also uh, extra light olive oil. And that's all you need. Extra light olive oil. And, and all that. So after I'm done, after I'm done cooking it, cutting my zucchini and my squash, that's what I'll show you next. Uh, I've got my uh, zucchini and my zucchini was sparse, uh, 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 cut and um, turn the pan on on high heat. Remember, when you when you, when you're dealing with olive oil, olive oil, uh, 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 it, it will splash because the, the the zucchini is watered, washed, and all that. And uh, that that's all you need. And as it as it as it heats up, heats up. Uh, it will be a few more minutes. It heats up, and uh, see, it's not really. This is kind of liberating, kind of like this. Uh, it, it it will get more looser as it, as as the pan gets hot. So all you have to do when you do it, when you use the same pan, just rinse it off. Uh, don't you don't use soap or water. Just rinse it off with a sponge with the water and all that. And that's all thing you need to do. So uh, as this uh, heats up. And when you see steaming, that's when you put the zucchini in. And then now I'll go in the last stage, last stage of the cooking segment right here. Hi, uh, here we're back, and uh, now uh, as you see, it's, it's really, really loose, really loose. That's what you want. To do. That is ready to you put your zucchini in, and uh, and uh, just like slightly, just gradually, uh, go ahead and put it in here. Your 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 uh. Zucchini and squash, and uh, and, uh, and 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 that's what you do. It, it, it will cook down. It will cook. Don't worry. If you have a small pan like like mine, it will cook down, and and, 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 and it will. So here we go. There we go. Zucchini and squash. Now I'll tell you, you can add much salt uh, as you want. The salt, not too salty, but salt enough. All that, just salt it in, in, enough as possible. 
and all that, and, and mixing it around, mixing it with your finger before you, you, you won't burn your fingers. But uh, mix it around, mix it around, mix it around. Get all the olive oil in there, and, and, and the salt. That will make the really good, really good fried fried zucchini. And that's what it does. You know, have it on max. But when when it when it, when it, when it gets too when it gets too uh, when it gets too uh, you know um, uh, 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 splashy or sparky, you know, uh, that's when you, that's when you. Uh, Turn down the uh, the heat. Hot plates are really different. Hot plates get, they don't have any regular re regulated heat. Sometimes you have to just let it cook and turn the heat heat plate uh, hot plate off, and that's what you do. The people that most people that don't know how to cook, uh, they, they learn. I learned all the life watching you know you know uh, Lydia uh, uh, Italian Kitchen, uh, Junk Pep Pep, uh, Julie Child. Uh, the Pet Chefs on PBS. That's why I learned all my cooking. I know it's pretty cool, huh? But yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, as it, more salt, more salt, more salt. As you as you, as you turn, sometimes you need to turn to regulate the the spoons and all that. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get in there and to flip them over. It's kind of hard to flip it. That's why. Uh, if you have glasses, because now it's starting to splash the oil, the uh, olive oil. But yeah, you, you can't go wrong with, uh, wrong with olive oil here. So, one more time, one more salt. And regular salt, that's regular salt. No season salt, no whatsoever. It, it, it'll be salty enough. And all that. 